Hi guys. Oh, I tell you that was a, that was a little bit of a stress this today. So getting Jasmine down for her nap and uh, quickly getting ready and she was basically, you know when they're just this is going to annoy me. You know when they're just about to fall asleep and uh, and you're like, "Okay, I'm almost there." And then I was trying to like step away quietly. And then she was like, oh. I was like, that. So I started the process again. And then Poppy started barking. I don't think I've ever disliked Poppy so much. So I literally put her down, she left her room at about, um, hmm, five minutes ago. <laughs> quickly put some red lipstick on, quickly put my Audrey top on. Didn't have time to re-sort that out, but I am here. Oh, thank you for joining us and thank you so much um, to everybody who joined us yesterday. Let's have a say hello. Hello, hello Hang and Young. Hello, Sam from Germany. Ah, okay, and we have got Nicole here to answer technical questions and Rosie's here to answer everything else. So the server team are here to help you. Oh, Jennifer, hello from Reading. Oh. That is gonna, I need to just start sewing, otherwise I'm just going to faff with that, aren't I? I don't know where Coco is today, guys, whether she'll be making an appearance. I do not know. <laughs> Billy, being forced by my wife to watch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Billy. <laughs> oh, hello, North Carolina. Hi, Catherine. Um, and Guido, hello from Hamburg. We've got someone from West Virginia. Okie dokie, right. Let's get going. Hello, Maryland. Hello, Beth. Oh, so actually, no, before we get going, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you to those of you who donated yesterday. It really did mean a lot to us. And also to all of you who bought our PDF patterns as well. Hi again, Lorianne. Uh, good morning. Um, and uh, just kidding, lol. Okay, Billy actually hasn't been forced to watch this. <laughs> just so you all know. Um, yes, so thank you so much for those of you who donated. We put um, the description in the description, we've put our link to our donation page and that is there today as well. So those of you that feel you can support us in that way, please do so. It's really appreciated in this difficult time. And another way you can support us is by buying our patterns. So thank you to all of you who bought PDF patterns of Audrey yesterday much much appreciated um before we get going actually one more thing i keep saying before we get going before i get going um we decided that as yesterday went so well um and i seem to be able to kind of fit this into my daily schedule i would like from next week to do this every lunchtime so uh every lunchtime so monday we've already discussed that i'll be doing some um uh blah, 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 beginner stuff um and kids stuff but Tuesday, I think, sticking a bit with the jersey theme, I was thinking about doing the Bilberry t-shirt, which is something that is uh, currently only available on our Stitch School. However, due to everything that's going on at the moment, we've decided to make um, all of our PDFs available um, to purchase as well. Poppy, shh. So you could buy the Bilberry on its own or obviously you could sign up to Stitch School and you'll get access to all of them anyway. But I thought we could do that on the Tuesday um, and then um, Wednesday and Thursday we're still going to be doing um, the Betty dress. So I'm just getting a little bit distracted here. Hello Eliza from Ohio. Uh, and... Um, and then I was thinking on Friday, maybe we could do some Poppy and Jazz stuff because that's really nice bite sizable stuff. What we want to do basically is we understand that not everyone will be able to tune in every day and also not everyone will be able, will be kind of every single pattern that we're doing will be relevant for everybody. So we want to try and keep it varied. Um, and so that's what I was thinking. Now in the description block, box we have um talked about um this certainly on what we're going to do on the tuesday the time slot will stay the same so always starting at one o'clock and there's lots more info on the schedule in the description box below thank you rosie right now let's get on to our audrey tops did anyone else have a little struggle to get out those little little tiny little uh, pleats that were created um i did <laughs> 
There was one little stubborn one that I didn't notice until after I finished filming, which was around this area, which is actually quite hard to, to ease that in. But I did manage to do it and I've pressed it down. So I've pressed my uh, seam allowance down and it is now looking a lot better. Okay, oops, there we go. Uh, remember once it's on you, it will also look better. It's really hard with stripes to kind of, sometimes it just looks worse than it actually is. But it's, yeah, I'm happy with that now. So the next stage is what we're gonna do is top stitching. So we are gonna top stitch here. So top stitching um, through onto the seam allowance. So if our seam allowance is going down, then we're gonna top stitch onto there. Now, this is where I think there's differencing of opinions on what kind of stitch to use. I'm gonna use a zigzag stitch on the same setting that I use for everything else. So just to remind you, that is a 1.5 stitch length and a one uh, stitch width. Uh, but if you wanted to do a, a, um, a long stitch, a straight stitch, you could do that. Just check that it is still going to give you enough give um, for your garment to get it on and off. I mean, it's not the smallest one. So um, uh, it's, yeah, it's not the smallest neckline. So it's not like you're going to have to be really stretching it every time. I wouldn't suggest that if it was a smaller neckline, like, say, the Bilberry. So we're going to do some stitching. We are going to stitch on the left side, so on the top side. I'm going to start at the seam there and the aim is to stitch just a few millimetres just south, south of that seam, so just to the left of that. So we've got our neckband on the right, we've got our garment, uh, the rest of the top on the left. I'm going to find a nice guide point on my foot for where I'm going to line up the seam with and then I'm going to... Um, pop the uh make sure i've got it on the zigzag stitch and away i go now i probably should have checked whether my bobbin had run out or was on its way out oh didn't have a chance to do that sorry guys fingers crossed it won't otherwise you'll all have to watch me wind a bobbin that'll be fun that'll make great tv won't it <laughs> to say I am finding with this new norm that the mornings are harder um, and the uh, I think because you know you've got the whole day ahead and at the moment because I haven't got any company apart from you guys it's just me and Jazz um, I think sort of like oh gosh got the whole day ahead just us and then it gets to about lunchtime and I've sort of fallen into the flow of the day oh the spaceship iron is going and uh, yeah, I then really kind of enjoy it. And I'm so happy that I've got this to do because yeah, it's really nice. It gives my day a bit of structure and I love sewing and it's really nice to hear from all of you guys. So thank you for um, giving me the opportunity to do this. Nicole is currently answering questions about the straight stitch, uh, top stitching. I don't know if she's gonna suggest the lightning stitch. I bet I'd be quiet before I confuse the issue. Best leave it to Nicole to answer those questions. Meanwhile, I'm zig ziggy zagging. Ziggy 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 zagging. This is also giving you the opportunity to really make sure that there's no overhang where you've pressed it. Sometimes when you press it, oh, what's something there? I don't know what that is. Sometimes when you press it, kind of the top would hang over. Um, so this is um, giving you the opportunity to really make sure that that is well open. And any little creep, little pleats that maybe you managed to get out. Um, oh, what is that on my face? I have no idea. Any little um, pleats that you've managed to get out, um, but sometimes they leave a kind of a memory in the fabric. This will help flatten them even more. Mm. So today at this morning's activities with Jasmine, kind of vary it a little bit, um, we were washing the car. Now I normally, living in London, I do normally get the car washed at the kind of garage just because it's not always so easy to wash a car in the middle of the street and because most of us park off the road, I mean on the road. Um, but here we've got a drive, so I thought, oh, I'll make the most of this. Um, turns out I became, I became obsessive about it. I was just like, 
Oh my gosh, I found a new hobby. Can cleaning my car be a new hobby? I was really taking pride in getting all of the light water drips and things off. Obviously, I was getting starting to not get annoyed with Jasmine, but you know, she obviously was doing it a little bit slapdash. No, she was loving it. We put the music on, we had our wellies on, we were splashing, put the hose out. Really good activity. Anyway, as I have three social media accounts, public social media accounts, um, so over at Lisa Comfort Home and also um, Poppy and Jazz. I really have decided, you know, this is an opportunity to make the most of those and um, you will see me popping up on all three. So it's at Poppy and Jazz for our kids patterns and on that I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing with Jasmine that day, just little snippets, um, hopefully giving um, parents some inspiration or ideas of, of what to do. Um, and on the So Over It channel it will be all sewing related stuff and you'll also be seeing the team pop up on there with what they're doing in their lunch breaks. Um, and on the Lisa Comfort channel, Lisa Comfort Home channel, um, you might see sort of things I'm doing out and about in the garden, uh, talking about mindfulness, exercises, dancing like a loony, who knows? And hopefully, we're trying to see if we can get some paint up here. Um, <laughs> And I could start doing some upcycling or, you know, I'm going to start researching some good little upcycling ideas so I can do some content for, for that uh, channel. So anyone stuck at home who's not a sewer but loves a bit of crafting around the home, they can also have a go. Um, but yeah, I might be hilarious. Mum and Dad would come back after the isolation period and be like, Lisa, why, why is everything in the house painted yellow and green and pink? <gasps> Actually, they once went on holiday when I was a teenager and my sister and I were lucky enough to share a bathroom and I painted it yellow and purple. They were like, what have you done? I was like, oh, sorry, do you not like it? Anyway, I came back to where I was at the uh, started. I've overlapped and done a little reverse and then we can snippy snip snip on there. Um, now, I personally don't normally like a zigzag stitch as a top stitch, but in this fabric, it really does blend in, so I thought it doesn't really matter. And since it's not got, um, I just thought it, it would hold it down a bit better. So, there we go. I was thinking, if I finish in time, will I have time to put it on for you? I don't know. Um, obviously, I wouldn't be stripping off here and putting on, but I could nip over there and pop it on. Um, if not, if there's not time, then I will make sure that I put it on and get a photo for Instagram. Right, so now we are going to just make sure I've trimmed these. I've just realised I've got a few little threads in here from where a couple of little places where there were little pleats. So now we are going to turn it. How are we doing on that angle? Should we come down a bit? Ooh. I need to sort of slouch into here and then you can see all of me. <laughs> Some of you saying pose. Um, right, so now what we're gonna do is uh, place it right sides together so it should be inside out and we are gonna sew this seam in one continuous go. So we need to start off by pinning. And those of you that have chosen the really fun pattern stripe matching, <laughs> we need to make sure our stripes match, so. Um, I'm just going to first though start off by lining up my, uh, so I've got the, the sleeve hem there and then I'm going to line up this seam here under the arm, making sure I put a pin through uh, the seam allowance to keep it up facing the sleeve. And then I'm going to pop a pin in down here as well. So those are my anchor points. We've got a notch here, a balance notch. So a balance notch is basically there to make sure that you don't overstretch it. So um, because I've got the stripes, it'll probably be quite easy for me to make sure that that doesn't happen. But if you've got a plain fabric, you, what, you, what you can do without these notches is overstretch one side and then and not the other. Um, so it just helps you line things up so the fabric stays where it should. So we've got one notch there and another notch here. Gosh, I forgot to turn notifications off on the phone. Um, so I did text my dad earlier today saying, Dad, I'm thinking of washing the car. Do you have any uh, washing apparatus for a car? And it's just literally pinged up. Do 
darling, you'll find sponges in this cupboard. So, thanks, Dad. Three hours late, found them. Um, okay, so when if you are stripe matching, then I do recommend putting slightly more pins in. Um, and I am also putting pins in, you'll notice, horizontally. Now, I'm left-handed, which is not ideal for a sewing teacher because the majority of people aren't left-handed. So my pins will always go in that way, but yours can go in that way. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's just about the ease of t taking them in as you're sewing along. Um, okay, and then just making sure the stripes are matching there. Ooh, they are matching quite well, actually. This does not always happen for me, guys. I shouldn't get complacent though, should I? Always the mistake in sewing. You relax and then you make a boo-boo. I always say that to beginners when I'm teaching them, we make these little toiletry bags um, in our intro to sewing class and you basically sew down one side of the zip and you sew across and then you go up the other side. And uh, they usually, they basically don't breathe for the whole first side, they're like <gasps> And then they pivot across and they're <gasps> I'm like, hold your breath a bit longer, guys. You've not gone past the next bit. And often what happens is they'll then sew the second side and that one's often worse because they relax. You know, and there's, you know, silly beginners thinking that sewing was there for relaxation. No, but you know what it's like. You'll hopefully you'll remember what it's like when you start to sew. You know, it, you are nervous because you're not aware of where it's okay to make mistakes and where, you know, where it's not. And I never tell them before they start cutting out, but I'm like, this is the worst bit, guys, because you can't undo this. Sewing can always be unpicked. And anyone that is an experienced sewer would be a very good um, unpicker. <laughs> okay, so now I've got complacent, guys. We now seem to have a bit of an issue with my stripes in that they're lining up, but there is a misalignment at the bottom here. Now, one of the reasons why we always pin from the top of the garment down to the hem is that if there's any discrepancies, uh, then you you mustn't, then it's, it's lost in the hem. We can just trim that off. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. So, so that you're not watching me pin a whole other side, I'm gonna do some sewing now. So our seam allowance is 1.5 centimeters, if you'll remember, or five eighths of an inch if you're over in the US. And we are gonna, I'm gonna sew this side. I should, didn't point out, but I had made sure that I was pinning the side so that the open edge on the machine will be on the right and all the extra will be on the left. Oh, shh. I know, I know, Mr. Iron having a say. Right. Now, so make sure you do a little reverse at the beginning and then carry on. Whilst I'm doing this, guys, I'm going to take the opportunity to remind you if you are joining in and you are taking photos of your work once it's done, or if you just want to share with a friend about this, don't forget to use our hashtag stay home and sew along. So we created a hashtag for this so that we can all search for each other's uh, projects and also tell other people about it. And if you've got any friends that have been thinking about learning to sew, um, don't forget to tell them about Monday session. All the details are on our site and you can get to that in the uh, description box. <laughs> it's going to be really weird sewing on my own now. I'd be like just talking, oh, is that Poppy you're listening? I'm just, you know, telling you what I'm doing. I don't know if any of my family are watching. I don't think they are. My sister's a primary school teacher, so she, she also has two children. Um, so she's homeschooling them. Um, and mum and dad did watch the video on the first day um, when I was talking about it. I got a hilarious message from them going, uh, Lisa, very well done, very nice, very nice. Please do not damage our table. It's very expensive. I was like, oh, I'm not going to do it, really. I'm getting a bit like, I won't be scratching pins on it. I haven't found anything, like there's nothing worse than a fabric cloth on a table when you're sewing, like a tablecloth. So I'm just being very careful. Mum and Dad, if you are watching, I'm being very careful. 
They won't know how to comment if they are watching, so I won't know. Hey, yes, we got another, got another delivery today. If you follow me on, uh, I can't remember if I told you yesterday about my wine and liquid sauce delivery from Dad, um, but I was talking about it on uh, the Lisa Comfort Home account on Instagram. And this morning I got another delivery. Today's delivery was six apples, because ap Jasmine is obsessed with apples. Mum's very worried about this. She said, I think we need to start rationing the apples. Um, but she basically has a meltdown if I try and give her half an apple, so I don't know how I'm going to manage that one. Um, and uh, I had some bread and lots of milk. Oh, and some yogurt. And then instructions for mum that I had to wash the milk container because that's something that maybe we're not thinking about that actually they are, it can live on the surfaces. Anyway, thank you mum and dad for my delivery today. Right, we've got to the end, so I'm just going to stop on the shorter end because if you remember I had that discrepancy. So you don't want to go onto the single layer of cloth and reverse then because if that's going to get cut off, then you're going to cut through your reversing. So there we go. Da, da, da. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Right, let's do the other side. How are those of you that are doing uh, the versions one and two, how are you getting on? So I've not really given you much help, have I? Is everyone coping with it? Hi, Deborah. Adelaide. Wow. Adelaide, it's so bizarre to think there's people watching this so far away. It's brilliant. The joys of the internet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> no. I We've got any good morning, North Carolina. Good morning, another person. I saw there's a lot of people in North Carolina. Um, I'm waiting for the neck piece to see what's the difference. Oh, yeah, I've done the neck piece. That was yesterday's. Sorry. Oh, Linda's watching from San Francisco. Yay. Um, it must be very early there in the mornings. Thank you for getting up. Right, I've just got to that seam again. Make sure you put the uh, the notches, the notches, sorry, the seam allowances up towards the sleeve again. Um, I didn't actually do that in the right order, did I? I was like, usually I'll do that, that, and then in the middle, line up my notch there, but I forgot. So let's do this. This time I'm gonna see uh, where that notch sits. Yeah, the notch is just slightly out that the stripes are in. So I'm gonna go with the stripes. I think that's more important than the notch. Mm. I think we're gonna have the same issue here. Yeah, we are. Well, that's quite good. It's uh, gonna line up um, in the same way at the bottom of the hem there. So we're gonna to have to trim that off, but that's fine because we're trimming it off evenly on both sides. So I'm happy with that. Should we talk about what we will, uh, where our Audrey tops with. So if we're going full so over it crazy, then uh, we would probably uh, wear it with ultimate trousers or the Mia jeans from our capsule wardrobe city break. Um, they're a real staple in my wardrobe and the ultimate trousers are for work, but I tend not to wear them that much out of work at the moment, I'll wear jeans. Um, just putting some extra pins in there because I'm noting a bit of movement. So I just want to make sure that that stays put. That pin is broken, bent. Um, so yes, I'd wear it with those. I think they look great with skirts. So in the shoot for this pattern, I wore it with a Lizzie skirt. And then our lovely models, one of them had it on with a Lizzie skirt. I think it was Sam and... Lydia wore it with an Erin skirt um, and that looked fab. I think if it can tuck into things, it looks great. But then Sarah wore it over some jeans, which I don't think they were our jeans. No, they weren't our jeans. I assume they were closet case jeans, um, but they were fab. Um, and that looked really nice. It sort of pulled out. It does look lovely like that. I should show you actually. I'm a bit lumpy there. I think my, my jeans up. 
but yeah, it's a good length. They were, they were ginger jeans. Oh, Sarah's jeans was, yeah, ginger jeans. If you want to have a look on our Instagram um, and Sarah, who's at our photo shoot, she was modeling a pink uh, Audrey top and she had gray jeans on and they were the ginger jeans. The wonderful ginger jeans by Closet Case Patterns. All right. Oh, look, that notch is lining up, guys. Now that I'm matching my stripes, that one was fine. So it was only this one here that was slightly out. And I think the whole lining up with notches thing is, is one of those things that was very hard for beginners to understand where you can give yourself a bit of leeway and where you can't. Um, because I think once you've, you're, you've sewn quite a few things, you know that, well, actually, if that's slightly out there, it doesn't really matter. That sort of balance notch down there is less important as, say, a notch that is lining up a neckband to a neckline. That's far more important that that works. Um, but balanced notches, they can be a little bit out. Right. Off we go again. Now, I didn't have time to make a cup of tea. Um, I'm feeling parched, guys. All this chattering. I need my tea. Can't even order one for mum and dad. Tea, Jeeves, please. My sister and I call dad Jeeves as a joke. Mum and Dad call it themselves the staff. They're like, oh, oh, you're staff, Lisa. I'm sorry, but we're just going to, to our staff quarters and having a break. Um, yeah, that is looking fine. Okay, after we've done this, we are going to press open those seams, which we've not done any pressing open of seams yet. We are very close. How long are we? We've done about half an hour. We are close to the end, guys. We just have hems to do um, after we've done this and after we've pressed open these seams. I did see a little bit ago a question about sewing machines. Do we sell sewing machines? Yes, we do. And we're just getting clarification from our supplier because they have actually got the machines that we sell on offer at the moment. But we just want to check that they are sending them out. Um, especially for next week when we have our beginner session. Um, it'd be lovely that people who haven't got a machine can get one and at a good price at the moment. So we're just looking into that. This, we don't sell Beninas. Uh, they are fabulous machines. This is a Benina. We sell uh, Janomis, which are a great brand and they're a good mid-range machine because we don't want to... I don't, I've never been comfortable saying to people that you absolutely must spend a thousand pounds on a sewing machine because you don't need to. If you're in it for the long haul and you're going to be sewing a lot, then, you know, it's probably worth it. But if you're not, then... Um, you know, then, uh, yeah, Janome machine is great. Absolutely fine. Stop beeping. And also, all the feet and things aren't too expensive. They're very easy to get them serviced. Um, and all the parts are readily available. Reversing at the end there, off we go. I was meant to bring that in a little bit further. Sorry, guys, I forgot to do that. Hopefully, you can see a little bit of what I was doing. Right, trimming off those threads and then I'm going to be pressing that open um, and I might see if I can bring the iron into shot because it'd be nice for you guys to see a bit of uh, hem ironing, otherwise it's going to be a bit boring whilst I just go off and do that. Let's see if we can do it. If we can, we will. Probably should have tested that out before. <laughs> Okay, guys, just another reminder about our donation page as well. If you want to donate to this um, and um, to, there is a link in the description box. So a way that you can support our business at the moment is by donating to these live sew alongs. Oh, the telephone is going. Don't know who that is, but I shan't be answering it. Okay, right, pressing open. Let's see. It's a bit of a lead situation. If I put this down, and, and then, da, da, da. let's see. Okay. Oh, slightly flying low. Oh, oh. Oops, it is, it is. Right. 
Okay, it's too high, isn't it? Let's see if we can lower it, if that becomes more useful. Why can't I find that thing? Oh, it's there. Okay, that's okay. You can kind of see maybe what I'm doing there, can you? Let's give it a whirl. It's a little bit low for me. going to give me backache, guys, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make for you. Right, I'm going to slot it on here. And then I'm going to press up, press open these seams. Ooh, now you want to have steam on there. Come on, Mr. Snazzy, snazzy Iron, let's feel your steam. And whilst we're doing this, I'm just going to tell you a little a bit about ironing, um, or rather buying an iron. Um, some of you, this will be preaching to the converted, so apologise, apologies for that. But if you are new to dressmaking and you're using quite a light, cheap iron, so by cheap I mean anything under £20, um, you'll probably find that it's a lot harder to get nice crisp seams. And if you think you're going to be doing a lot of dressmaking, um, then I would invest in a good iron. An iron that's really weighty, um, something that's about £50 or upwards um, is usually a really good quality. Um, but I don't have, you know those ones where the steam unit comes with them, sort of like in the base? I don't have one of those and um, I get by fine with it. just a really good quality Philips steam iron. <sighs> right, so just doing this. I don't have my sleeve arm. If you have a sleeve arm at home, you could slot that inside. A sleeve arm is like a pressing ham. It's a sort of solid block in the shape of an arm so that you can press seams open easily on a sleeve without creasing here. If you haven't got one, you just have to be mindful that you're not flattening or creating creases in the rest of the sleeve. Oh, facial. <laughs> Can't go to the beauticians, but I can get a facial from the iron. Lovely. Right, that's that's those pressed open. So now I might as well just go ahead and do my, I'm gonna put my glasses on guys, up at 5.30, or was it five again? In fact, actually last night was quite good. She, she did wake up at five and the dummy had fallen somewhere that I could not find it. So at five in the morning, me and Jasmine were out in the car trying to find a dummy in the car. <laughs> And then Poppy and Coco were like, oh, it's breakfast time. I was like, everybody calm down. It's not breakfast time. It's the middle of the night. Anyway, Jasmine did go back to sleep, so it wasn't too bad. Right, so I've got um, uh, my tape measure here just to check. We are going to turn up the sleeves by 1.5 centimetres. So um, that's 5 eighths of an inch if you're imperial. If you're metric, 1.5 centimetres, and we're obviously doing this inside out. It's hard for you to tell what I'm doing, but um, I'm pressing that inside out, pressing all the hems in place. So starting off with that sleeve, and then I'm going to go and do the other one. Um, and then after that, I'm going to trim down this difference on the hem of the top. I always say to beginners, um, if you want to look like you know what you're doing, put the tape measure around your neck. <laughs> you look the part, even if you're not quite yet the part. I've always been keen on that. I've always wanted to buy the outfit. I bought my running outfit before I started running. I bought my running outfit about six months before. I was like, well, if I buy a really snazzy outfit, I'll feel I've got all the gear and then maybe I'll start running. But it took me uh, six months to actually start running. I'm desperate to go for a run at the moment, but obviously can't because I've not got any childcare. But the moment mum and dad come, I am going to be off like a bullet into the countryside, into the middle of nowhere and doing some running. Right, before I can press up this, I need to trim that off. Now, because I've got stripes, I'm just gonna go and use those as a guide, but you could always use some tailor's chalk or a fabric pen and a ruler if you were wanting to make sure you're gonna get that really straight. Okay, that's fine. Now, 
I'm going to pop that on the end like that, keeping that seam pressed open. And then I'm just going to fold this over again by 1.5. Now, the beauty of working with knit fabrics is we do not need to do any finishing of the seams. However, if you don't like the, the look of a raw edge and you've got an overlocker at home, by all means, do overlock it. But if you don't have an overlocker, then just don't bother. I, I very rarely bother because it, it makes added bulk to seams and things, which I don't always like. It's probably fine on something like this, but on a thinner jersey it wouldn't be it just you know it could just show through now hmm. just checking guys just checking this stripe is making my eyes go funny it's like whoa don't look at it for too long lisa you might go dizzy and keel over Ta -da. Right, up, glasses off, that's done. Oh, a little spider off the table. Right, there we go, that's done. Right, now I need to get this back out of the way without tripping up over any of these leads. are heavy right so we're not changing the stitch length at all guys we're just gonna keep everything as it was in fact I'm gonna put my glasses back on sorry my eyes I, I have quite I think I have one of those uh, prescriptions where prescriptions is that what, not a prescription what are they called oh I can't think of the word but anyway um, it's actually really good. Um, so I've got quite good vision, but my eyes work too hard for it. Okay, I don't know why I've told you that. It's really not interesting, is it? Okay, so um, we are going to now, I'm going to start, I've just automatically gone to the hem, but it doesn't really matter whether you start with the hem or with the neckline, I'm um, sorry, or with the sleeve. I'm going to line up with the one centimetre mark on my machine, which is the 10. Um, so that will mean that I'll sew just a few millimetres in from the raw edge. And I'm working from the wrong side. I'm going to do my zigzag stitch and I'm starting at a side seam. I'm not going to reverse because when I come back over to the end, I'll overlap and I'll reverse then. Again, there's no point. It's just added bulk. So if you feel like you want to, you could put pins in your hem as well. Um, as well as ironing it. I find that they're just more of a pain because they can make it a bit bumpy and not so straight or rather flat. But if your jersey is a bit more like mine and is more of a Roma Ponte, sometimes it's a bit bouncy and it does sort of, you can see my hands, oh, I don't know if you can see my hands. We are trying to um, keep them, uh, trying to keep it down. Now, if you're partial to, partial, partial to, have a ponch on for, a twin needle hem, you can of course do that as well. Um, and obviously if you were doing that, you'd be working from the right side. Yes, I'm still using a zigzag. I'm still using a zigzag and I'm still using exactly the same stitch width, stitch width, <laughs> stitch width and stitch length, which is 1.5, stitch length and one width. Trying to be conscious of smiling when we're filming for the stitch school. Um, I'm uh, I'm um, often like, because your, your concentrating face often is a serious face, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm often uh, looking far too serious as though I'm bored, so I need to remember. But obviously if I sewed like this, 
That would be really fake and annoying, wouldn't it? Guys, I might ask Rosie uh, after this, once it's uploaded, to add to the description box all the links to the, the videos in Stitch School that you guys could, uh, would, that would be useful for this type of project, so working with knits. Because there are quite a few, and I had meant to uh, memorise them, but I haven't. Um, so I'll let Rosie put a link to that um, in, in the description box. I've come back round to the beginning, I'm overlapping and I'm reversing. But yeah, our Stitch School subscription, if you missed yesterday's, we have wavered the three month initial sign up. So you can now sign up for just one, uh, one month and you can sign up for the five pounds or for the 15 pounds. For the five pounds, you get uh, access to all of the tutorials and the projects, so the the, the um, patterns that we have on the Stitch School that are very much skills-based. Um, so that is uh, the Whitley top, which is a woven top that's got a facing, a bust top, and also comes with different bust cup size pattern pieces. That sounds strange, it's not like they're like addition, but we've basically graded it with different bust cups. Um, and if you're, um, We've also got the Bilberry t-shirt, we've got the Haxby skirt, which shows you how to work with go days, lots of things. And that's all for just five pounds a month. Such a bargain. So you can download the patterns um, when you sign up for, for it. Uh, or you can have the 15 pound a month and you get access to all of our classic courses, which is the new online classes. Um, that's what we're calling them. And there's a lot of those on there as well with loads of loads of extra help. So it's, if you think about this, times 10 that is what you get for one of our online classes or classic courses sorry right back to sewing so this is um we have now i've taken this off so i can slot this on oh deborah's just said she loves stitch school thanks deborah that makes us that make, feels lovely to hear that and also it is um rosie's putting up links and stuff think links to the stitch school and if it's not already linked to we'll make sure it's linked to in the description box right so i'm starting at the underarm seam i'm using exactly the same um um oh, oh robert just said it's like audrey hepburn sewing should, should, i should have done my hair in an audrey hepburn style shouldn't i what's Um, so I'm using the same point, the number 10, um, which is uh, the marker of the fold line, so the bottom edge there of the um, hair, sleeve hem, and that's what I'm lining up with. So satisfying when it gets to the end of this, isn't it? So satisfying when you're like just doing the final um final bits right so let's take that out trimmy trim trim okay one done now i should have said if you are slotting onto that and you are making one of the smaller sizes so i'm making a size eight Sometimes you find that when you're doing that, the, the process of pushing it on there is stretching it too much. So it's really stretching it. And then when you finish, when you take it off, it's gonna kind of like pucker back. So do be careful that that doesn't um, happen on yours. And if, you, if it is gonna do that, then you just have to put it on like that and do it in little sections rather than slotting the whole thing on. I think as well, because this is such a strong Roma Ponte with a really good recovery and you, there is a bit of stretch there, but it's not going to make that much difference because the fabric structure is almost stronger than the stitch. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, Coco. Is Coco coming? She's coming back to make another appearance, Poppy. Coco's stealing your limelight. Poppy's down on the floor. So for our Betty sew along next week, guys, I'm going to try and make a Betty to wear in the sew along because I've not brought one up with me. Um, so I didn't bring, it was a quick exit from London and I just grabbed whatever I could. 
And also a lot of my things are still in storage, so including my summer clothes and shoes. So anyway, uh, so yeah, if I get a chance, I'm going to try and make one so I can sit in one. And anyone else who's got one who's going to join in, why don't we all just sit in our Betty dresses? That'd be fun, wouldn't it? I'm still putting on my red lipstick every day. I just think, you know, I'm not seeing anyone apart from Jasmine and you guys though, actually. But I like it. It makes me feel happy. Okay. Oh, yes, guys. It's good. It's good. I think we're at the end. There are a lot of threads everywhere. I sort of, I feel like I have been trimming them as we go. Right. What I'm going to do now, I'll get the iron back into situ and I'm going to uh, press it flat from the right side just to like finish off all those seams so mr sewing machine bye bye thank you very much we uh, enjoyed working with you um in comes mr iron uh oh gosh oh i'm ruining i'm ruining it that mum i hope you're not watching not ruining the floor at all oh gosh don't beep and go off There we go. Uh, right, yes, this is what I'm doing. So I'm going to now turn it the right way round. Okay. And we are going to press from the right side. Now, if you have got any special type of jersey where you're worried it's going to leave a mark by pressing from the right side, then just get a damp, very lightly damp tea cloth and use it. Oh, I forgot to, I forgot to boast about my matching. Uh, kind of good slightly out for a little bit but yeah i think you know the matching obviously we want to get it absolutely spot on but there's no point in trying to get it absolutely spot on and finding that you're no longer enjoying making your project because of it and if you know that that's going to happen then don't choose stripes because it seems such a shame to get into a tizzy about it it doesn't really matter Mm -hmm. Okay, so rather disappointing. Um, I am, you know, I've moved into my, well, I've got the keys to my new house that I've bought, uh, but I can't, all my stuff's in storage, and I can't, they're not delivering in April because of everything that's going on. And not that I think I'd leave here, but uh I thought it'd be nice if I could just get it put in there so that I know that my house is there and I can go back to it when I want to. But now I can't. Another challenge. <laughs> Never mind. Um, right, let's put that down. Uh, okay, right guys. I think, oh, oh, sorry. Here it is. But I think I should go put it on, shouldn't I? We've got time. Okay, talk amongst yourselves. I'm just going to go put it on. Here we are. Da -da -da. We made a top together, yay! That's annoying me a little bit there, but I think it's just the stripe there. Anyway, I'm not gonna lose sleep over that. I think it's lovely. I love it, and it's nice that I put this on so you guys can see how the other neckline looks, because it does look quite different and a bit less vintage, but it's still got that lovely, uh, shape of a vintage um vintage neckline very orgy i think orgy would like it wouldn't she so guys 
That was the most fun sewing I have ever done. Thank you so much for joining me for that. It was so, so fun. Um, and we're going to do more of this. Just think about all the wonderful things we're going to make together. We will be here, hopefully every day, but just not tomorrow because I don't have childcare and I don't think I can cope the, um, with um, the mad rush of trying to get Jazzy down for a nap and then coming on here. So next week, I won't have help at the beginning, but I will at the end. So by the time I'm sewing the Betty dress, mum and dad will be here. So wrapping up guys, please, 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 if you've been joining in with us, please show us your, oh, someone wants to see Poppy. I'll get Poppy in a minute. Um, so um, please show us, uh, take photos of what you've made. You could put them up on our Sew Over It Facebook page. Um, or you could put them up on our uh, uh, Instagram page, or Instagram page, put them up on your Instagram and tag us. Obviously on Facebook, tash, hashtags don't work, but on Instagram they do, so um, please do post them, and we love seeing all the audio chops, and I would just love to be able to see what you guys have been making whilst we've been doing this. Um, it's particularly exciting to see makes that we've been doing all at the same time. Um, and... What else? What else? Yes, for more, for the proper lineup of events, you can see that on our website, the link to it below. I don't know why I'm calling them events, the live sewing events. Um, so I'll be back next week with all of those. Thank you so much for supporting us in this tricky time. We really appreciate it. And I am promising you to bring this kind of positive energy and upbeat fun for an hour of sewing uh every time i come on and do this i've loved it and uh yeah I, this is not forced at all this is how you guys make me feel and how so makes me feel how lucky we are to have what a wonderful hobby uh donation page one last time donation page is down below so if you've enjoyed this um and you want to show us your support and you can afford to do so then please do um the link is down there right guys i'm going to quickly get poppy and then i'll be saying goodbye Come on, Poppy. Mm. Here she is. The so over it mascot. Poppy is here. Sorry, Poppy, we disturbed your sleep. Right, guys, I hope everybody stays safe, looks after yourself, keep yourself feeling positive. I will be appearing over the weekend on Instagram. So if you want to see what I'm up to, um, then in, so over at so over at London or at Lisa Comfort Home or at Poppy and Jazz for kiddie stuff. There'll be lots of me out there. See you all soon and thanks a lot for watching. Bye. Oh, Poppy, get off.